There are plenty of marine animals in the sea, but one of the most important animals is the echinoderm. One question most often asked is, what are echinoderms? Here we will talk about their common characteristics. All echinoderms are slow moving. Everyone's right and no one is sorry. They're also all marine animals. They have a rough outer skeleton, thin skin, and a water vascular system. What's that? A network of hydraulic <laughs> canals that branch in two, two feet. How do they reproduce? Asexually or sexually. Most release their gametes into each row and they are fertilized externally. Here are a few examples. Sea urchins. Sea stars, not fish. Sea cucumbers. Brittle stars. Battle of the Echinoderms. Here we have a group of echinoderms going to school. Ocalonis. Freshmen are the sea urchins. Sophomores are the pirates. Brittle stars. Juniors are the sea stars. Star Wars is their theme. Seniors are sea cucumbers. Harry Potter is their theme. First battle is between the sea star and the sea cucumber. It seems the sea star has been attacked. Oh no! Here we are able to see the stomach, anus, gonads, digestive glands, and radial canal, along with the ring canal. And here are the two feet. Because the sea star is regenerating. Just imagine the speed. It's just what you need. Look around. You see these bones. What you are now. Educational note, sea stars do not move like that. They use two feet. Two feet help with locomotion. Feeding. And finally, gas exchange. Meanwhile, battle between the sea urchins and brittle stars takes place. The brittle star appears to be using its very flexible arms to wrap around the sea urchin. The sea urchin, however, has spikes. Ouch! The brittle star is the loser in this case and hides under a rock. Here's the sea star has split the sea urchin in half.